Hi guys, welcome to the video. As you can see from the title, this is my most important vlog yet. Ever since I started my YouTube channel, the main goal was to make a difference and inspire people. And I'm hoping with your guys' help in this video, I'll be able to do that. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start this vlog by telling you all a story which will explain why I'm doing the video. Uh, I was in the barbershop about a month ago, uh, mid to late September, and two people walked in as I was getting my hair cut. Uh, it was a lady and a man, and the lady was explaining to the, another barber how uh, the man would like his hair cut. She said that she needed, he needed his head shaved off, he needed his beard shaved off, and she began to tell the story why. So as she was sat down, she was sort of talking across me to the barber as John, the man who sat in the chair. And um, she was explaining how John was driving uh, about a month or two ago and he just blacked out at the wheel, crashed into a fence. And two days later, he found out from his doctor that he had a brain tumor. Uh, now, hearing the story for the first time as I was sat in the chair, the first thing I thought about was if there was any way I could help raise awareness, wherever it may be. She then began to tell the barber how, as a family, it really affected them. You know, the medical bills were racking up and not just John's quality of life was being affected, but it was affecting everyone else around them. And it was just a, a terrible situation for them to be in. So after leaving the barbershop, uh, I asked Christy to send me some more information about John's situation, what he's going through. And this is what she sent me. She said, his tumor is called anaplastic astrocytoma. Uh, it's a super rare condition and has a 50% chance to come back in five years. And if it does, his life expectancy is only 10 years. He went through six, da six weeks daily radiation and chemotherapy and is currently undergoing chemo five days every month for 12 months. And the next step in treatment is an optune therapy cap required 18 hours a day for four months. He is starting having seizures set, uh, since brain surgery and has yet to be able to return to work. Life for him has pretty much been at a standstill. Not being able to drive has been a downer for him and relying on us to help him any way we can. You were super awesome to listen to and your willingness to help out is super overwhelming. Thanks again. So receiving that text, all I, ever, all I wanted to do was help. You know, if there's any way that I can help, I will. And so I invited them both down um, to our game against Orange County a week ago. Um, my hope wasn't just for them to have the experience of being at the game, but then also to raise awareness amongst the club, amongst the fans, um, and just sort of help the family in any way possible. So I managed to bring them down to a game, got them all tickets, and I spoke with our general manager at the club, Dan Egner, who um, kindly suggested that they should be special guests at the game. So they sat watching the warm-ups, um, they got to be pitch side during the game. Um, here's some footage that was taken of them um, during the warm-ups and at the game. So I'll roll that footage now. month on the road for you guys. A win and you are into the playoffs. What's it going to take tonight? I think just hard work, um, doing exactly what we've been doing the last few games. 
Uh, the result we got away at Reno was fantastic. So it's just continuing to do the things we work on every day in training and uh, just enjoy ourselves. I think we're all really, really looking forward to it and uh, can't wait to get on the field and play. On the screen now, I'm going to put up John's GoFundMe information. It's also going to be in the link in the description. Um, any help that you guys could give, whether it's donation of money, whether it's to share his story, to raise more awareness, whatever it may be, however you feel necessary to help John, I would really appreciate it if, if you could help him. Um, him and his family are going through a lot at the moment. Um, also in the description, I'll put more information about his diagnosis and all the information that, that he is currently dealing with right now. So as I said before, I'm going to share the link in the description to John's GoFundMe page. Any help will make a difference and the family will be really appreciative of anyone that even shares the story, donates money, whatever it may be. You know, that as a family, they're in hundreds of thousands of debt. I think they've managed to raise almost $2,000. But I feel as though with the platform of YouTube, Twitter, social media, and through professional football and the club and everything, I'm really trying to achieve their goal and, and for such a, a terrible condition to also have terrible consequences on the family, um, I'm trying to help anywhere I can. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video and again, anything you can do to help will make a difference. The family will be extremely grateful. I'll see you guys on the next video.